You. Hello, good morning, welcome back to the vlog, and this is the service you want to get in bed. Thank you. Look at that, croissants! Unbelievable. Alrighty, the bag is packed. We're on the move. I didn't expect this from today, but we're going to film. Ergs gave me a ring, he's like, yo bro, want to go film? I said, yeah, Holly's working, so I'm going to go work as well at the pitch and film some content. So, I'm buzzing. Let's go. There he is. Good day, mate. It's been so long since we've had a pitch day, so I'm buzzing for it. How we doing, baby? We're back. We're back. It's been a minute. Nice. Come on, bro. <laughs> come, on, come on, bro. Nice. Okay, thanks. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I forgot you in the car, and I couldn't get back to the car to get you out. So, I'm home now. Um, let's show you what I filmed. I told you guys I would show you what we filmed today since I didn't take the camera, so let's check it out. I've already edited a couple, so we've got this Latin goal recreation. This is actually already up on my socials. It actually came out real good. I'm pretty happy with it, to be honest. If you know, you know. Like, I expect most of you will know what goal this is. By the way, how athletic of me, probably most athletic done, what did I just say? I was trying to say, Probably the most athletic thing I've ever done, but I said probably the most a athletic done I ever did. Um, so that was number one. Number two, I'm currently in the process of editing at the moment. And it is, does this knuckleball, does this knuckleball? Does this mitre football, which I got for eight pounds from Aldi, does it knuckleball? Um, this is a sneak peek. Nobody has seen any of this footage before. So, um, yeah, it was pretty crazy as well. Yeah, that's... Yeah, there you go. And bangers and mash. Thanks for coming. Um, so yeah, those are two of the videos. I've still got another video on uh, my new camera that I got to edit and have a look, see see how that looks, which I'm actually excited for. Oh, I just got a new gadget. Just ordered this. So weirdly, when you get the Sony ZV-1, uh, no, ZV-E1, it doesn't come with even a battery charger. It comes with one battery, which you put in the camera but to charge it you have to plug in to the camera directly via USB-C so I have bought this this right here is a charging station so you put the batteries in it comes with two it's also got an SD card holder there but not only does it charge the batteries it then also can work as a power bank using the batteries if you want to charge your phone so like, if I have two fully charged batteries in here but I need to charge my phone, I can use the power from those batteries if I finish shooting to charge my phone. Which I thought was pretty cool. And since we're doing a story time, I've got one more thing to show you, because I was meant to show you this yesterday, but I forgot. This was how my brand new $5,500 camera almost got absolutely obliterated it, literally like the second day I owned it. Um, and I've got the footage. So I was at the Futsal final yesterday. This is, this is the footage here. Ryan has done an absolute job on the camera. And that clip is going to look unreal, and it does look unreal. Just watch this. If you need a jump scare. Um, so that was directly at my face. I was actually holding my camera in front of me like this, filming. And I had a microphone on it as well. And somehow the ball hit the camera. Camera flung. I think it went over my right shoulder. Um, and the microphone got obliterated, like it's so broken, I need a new one. Um, but then I turn around the camera's like literally two meters away, perfectly fine, not even a scratch. Like I can't even see where it hit the floor, which is absolutely nuts. But this is going to be my thumbnail and title, so uh, give me a second. How's that? That's a thumbnail one take, thanks for coming. How my five thousand, five and a half thousand dollar camera almost got destroyed the first day I had it. Yeah, clickbait. So guys, this is what tonight's turned into. Um, I have come back from Nepal and we won and Tom has died after cooking dinner. So that's the end of today. So I don't know what Tom usually says. What do you usually say? <laughs> He's laughing at me. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed that. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye. And then you got a donkey on your head. Oh shit.